don't work like this, don't. I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's quite work and it's hard money. Okay, thank you for the good work done. But I tell you that the governor will read everything line by line. That's how he does his thing. Disclosing that the current annual basic salary of all categories of political, public, and judicial office holders in Nigeria is adjusted upward by 114% after considerations that the consumer price index of some selected baskets of commodities have collectively grown by an average of 361% from 2018 to 2022. The Chairman, Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, Mohamedo Belo Shegu, represented by the Federal Commissioner in charge of Anambra State in the Commission, Barrister Chema Okafo, explained that the provision of paragraph 32d of part 1 of the third schedule to the 1999 constitution of the federal republic of nigeria as amended empowers the commission to determine the remuneration appropriate for political office holders including the president vice president governors deputy governors ministers commissioners special advisors legislators and the holders of the offices mentioned in sections 84 and 124 of the constitution saying that the commission was guided by equity and fairness risk and responsibilities national order of precedence motivation tenor of office reasonableness and ability to pay mr bello shegu noted that the commission recommends 1st january 2023 as the effective date for the commencement of the implementation of the reviewed remuneration packages for political public and judicial office holders in the country and requested that the state's house of assembly hasten the amendment of relevant laws to allow for the commencement of the implementation as recommended there's need to revisit uh, the remuneration and then um, after a series of exercises involving stakeholders and their opinions, we were able to have um, a weighted average. Present during the event were the State Chief of Staff, Dr. Ernest Eza Joy, State Accountant General, Dr. Chukwu Odeokoli, Executive Secretary, State Emergency Management Agency, Sir Paul Odenibo, among others. From Government House in Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. The Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Sumto Chuku Udeze, says fathers are divine creation of God, specially design, designated to provide headship and protection for the family. And his goodwill message to fathers as they celebrate this year's International Father's Day, Right Honorable Udeze noted that fathers are expected to possess qualities that will give glory to God and improve their families. The speaker enjoined men to be true fathers by leading the family in honesty and integrity and always uphold fairness and justice in whatever position they find themselves. He admonished fathers to live responsibly with a heart of love for one another and make family prayer the trademark of their families. Right Honorable Udeze, while describing fathers as pillars of the family, maintains that huge responsibility is placed on their shoulders, much more than providing food for the family, such as ensuring that their children are brought up to become better citizens and quality leaders of tomorrow. He also called on mothers to complement the efforts of fathers in running the family, especially by shaping and improving the moral and academic standard of their children. Anambra governor's wife, Mrs. Nonya Soludo, has described fatherhood as a rare privilege that must be guarded with honor and ex ex exemplariness. Mrs. Soludo, who stated this in Oka in a statement to mark the 2023 World Father's Day, explained that the society owes fathers a lot considering their huge sacrifices and the function they play for society is good. According to the governor's wife, while fatherhood comes with obvious natural responsibilities, fathers who have played their roles as the pillars and heart of their families deserve to be honored. She stated that fathers remain an integral part of child raising, family unity, 
progress and strength, societal peace and growth, and called for a better celebration of the uniqueness and function of fatherhood, while urging fathers to pay more attention to issues around their families, especially as they concern the children. Mrs. Soludo argued that a home that lacks father's presence and attention may fall in the wrong direction. She also urged them to always take notice of family hygiene and overall health habits of their children and support their wives in building a worthy home. Mrs. Soludo, while wishing all fathers a fulfilled celebration, asked them to remember that the society is always looking up to them for guidance, wisdom, and support. Massive renovation works will soon commence on legislative complex of Anambra State as of Assembly to give it a facelift. The Commissioner for Housing and Urban Development, Anambra State, Honorable Pauli Onyeka, disclosed this when key officials of Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, Person, Anambra State Chapter, Perdime Courts a visit. House of Assembly correspondent Chukwe Maka Modeling reports that the legislative complex of Anambra State House of Assembly houses office of the speaker, clerk, deputy, and other civil servants. According to Honorable Onyeka, Anambra State government will also renovate office complex of the legislators. He ex explained that he, the renovation of the buildings would not only provide a conducive environment for legislative activities, but would enhance workers' efficiency. Honorable Onyeka further said that provision of legislative quarters for members of Anambra State House of Assembly will be accommodated in the 2024 budget and work on the premises of State House of Assembly complex to improve the aesthetics of the environment. They commended person under the leadership of Comrade Abraham Okoye for transforming the association. In his remarks, the chairman of the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, Anambra State Chapter, Comrade Okoye explained that their visit was to familiarize with the commissioner and the, to discover what the Soludo administration has in stock for Anambra State as of Assembly. Comrade Okoye applauded Governor Soludo for his massive support to the House of Assembly for providing good leadership in the state. As Anglican Communion Nationwide and Christ Holy Church International celebrate Father's Day yesterday in commemoration of International Father's Day, Christian fathers have been urged to promote love and understanding in homes through closer family ties. The Archdeacon on the Lake, Archdeaconry, and Vicars and Stevens Parish, Agolo, Venerable Silas Ike, gave the advice while delivering a sermon at a special service to celebrate fathers. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Chibata, reports. Father's Day is an annual event worldwide to celebrate fatherhood, paternal bonds, and the efforts of the male parents in fulfilling their roles and responsibilities towards the family. Speaking on the theme of the celebration, the role of Christian family in a time like this, Venerable Ike, while reminding fathers to instill values of love, respect, and responsibility in their families, urged them to run away from idolatry, becoming strong pillars of faith, and participating in the work of God. We thank God because of life today. As we rejoice with our fathers, we have this particular role to play. The role to know God as the only God and Father of all. He's able to do all things. And the lesson is for us to keep peace in our lives and in our families. Also, in a sermon at St. Jude's Parish, Adaziani, the vicar and Archdeacon Adaziani Archdeaconry, Venerable Chris in Kemokafo, while reminding fathers that God has placed them as authorities in their respective homes, which should be exercised, lamented that the ills in the society is due to slack in the family, hence to be alive to their responsibilities. <laughs> Good night, Nacho Keta, among the Nachos. 
On his part, Reverend Chibuzo Chinyaka of St. Monica's Church in Ugupu regretted that most men have failed in their responsibilities as fathers to inculcate in their children good moral values. He said that the disciplining of children should be done with love, adding that a father should also show understanding to his spouse in the home. Similarly, the vicar Christ Holy Church International No. 1, Oka, and Superintendent in charge of Oka Superintendency, Venerable David Ashuku called on fathers to support their wives to bring up their children in the fear of the Lord while charging wives to be submissive to their husbands. We are pleading to men who are eager to pull off, never to backslide, never to crumble up. The divinity is still there. The Some men who spoke to ABS, Elder Ima Nzomiwu of Christ Holy Church International and President Men's Fellowship, St. Monica's Church in Ugupu, Mr. Lawrence Okonkwo, said the occasion is an opportunity for men to rekindle their responsibilities. Drama, praises, and thanksgiving climaxed the event. National scene, Nigerian Defense Headquarters, DHQ, has asked citizens to put up a fight to defend themselves from, from criminals through a local security architecture that will work in synergy with the military to get information before crimes are committed. Princess Ekwi Ajide tells us more. In media operations, Major General Musadam Madami will make the promise while clarifying issues at the bi-weekly media briefing on troops' activities in the past two weeks across the Federation said there have been a spike in casualties in some states because of the farming season which brings clashes between farmers and herders. This, according to him, will make them proactive instead of being reactive, adding that the military and other military agencies agencies are working round the clock to ensure there is peace in the country while promising that Nigeria troops will sustain onslaughts against terrorism and criminality across the country. Most of these criminal elements that are domiciled in most of these local governments and in the states, people see them. If the security architecture in that state is properly synchronized and networked in such a way that prompt information can be given to the military, then we will be proactive in addressing this issue. On his part, the Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigeria Air Force, Air Commodore Ayodele Famuiwa, cautioned the media against blowing up reports without adequate investigation or making an effort to get two sides of the story. The briefing showcased success stories of the military in different theaters of operation within the period under review. In Abuja, Princess Ilki Ajide reporting. And seven contestants in the Afro-Euro fashion competition showcased their creativity and talent in the fashion industry through different designs to meet the demands of the time. The event meant to encourage young professionals in Nigeria was organized by the European Union in commemoration of the EU Day under the theme Year of Skill. Princess Ekwi Ajide again has details. Euro fashion competition saw models on the wrong way as beating their talents and cultural troops showcasing Nigeria with its different cultures and ethnicity for economic benefits. In an interview with the press, the ambassador to Nigeria and the ECOWAS, Samuel Isopi, said her country's economy was revitalized through the fashion industry, hence the event aims at shaping lives and misconceptions about the industry. Ambassador Samuela urged all those aspiring to go into fashion to be bold and courageous for their dreams to come true, as according to her, Nigeria needs to key into the sector and create a fresh environment to boost income and revenue collection connection can bring is really how to help them not to change you know their creativity but to help them develop that expertise that savoir faire that know-how in terms of you know the kind of fabric uh, the craftsmanship you know the skills that can help them develop further their business 
The overall winner at the end of the fashion competition, Oyindamola Aleshin Lonye, applauded the organizers for creating a platform that would encourage young people and advise those willing to join the creative industry to have a brand that will help them to stand out in the global market. According to her, collaboration by all will place Nigeria among the world's most economically driven for skills and innovation. It's like fashion is fun, um, and it can be fun, but it's also a lot of hard work. And I think with anyone coming into the industry, it's vital that, you know, you have such a clear storytelling, brand message, and all of that that goes into the brand as a whole, and just remain consistent, and, you know, just start. If you haven't started, start. It is expected that the overall winner of the competition will participate in the famous Madrid Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. The first runner-up will also participate in the Dakar Senegal Fashion Week, while the second and third runners-up receive fashion designing equipment as all contestants will be sponsored to attend a business management training in Abuja. Princess A.P. Ajide reporting. On the foreign scene, Mexico is launching a new app to speed up its asylum process amid record levels of the asylum seekers, even after a similar U.S. app came under fierce criticism for glitches and difficulty to use. Andres Ramirez, head of Mexico's Refugee Assistance Agency, said that he believed an app was necessary in order to manage an overwhelming number of asylum requests in Mexico City. Ramirez said that for the first time in the history of his agency, during the first 18 days of May, more asylum applications were filed in Mexico City than in the southern Mexican city of Tapachula, which borders Guatemala. During that time, 3,300 applications were filed in Mexico City and 3,000 in Tapachula. Ramirez also said that some individuals applying for asylum in Mexico City may still be waiting for, to get an appointment on U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP One app, through which users can make appointments to enter legally through a port of entry to make their case for asylum. Anambra State Governor Chukoma Saludo has condoled the former governor of Imo State, Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, on the death of his mother, Dame Dorothy Nsamma Ihedioha. Dame Ihedioha, who passed on at the age of 90 years, was interred at Uvuru Mbise Imo State. Commiserating with the Ihedioha family, Governor Saludo, represented by Chief of Staff Mr. Ernest Ezajui, Ask them to bear the demise of their matriarch, who, according to him, lived a beautiful, impactful, and fulfilled life. The governor described Dame Dorothy Ihedioha as a model mother who nurtured her large family and served well in God's vineyard, having been inducted into the Women's Guild in 1959, Mother's Union in 1965, licensed as lay reader and also a knight, Earlier in a sermon during the burial service held at the St. Peter's Anglican Church, Mbutu, Diocese of Mbese, the Metropolitan and Primate of all Nigeria Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Henry Ndukoba, admonished the congregation to consider how life should be lived to the glory of God, who creates and knows when to take it. Primate Ndukoba advised humanity, especially leaders in various sectors, not to just enrich themselves, but make impact in the life of others, stressing that all riches are left behind after death, which according to the Bible is followed by judgment. In his vote of thanks, Chief Emeka Ihedioha, while thanking everyone who attended and contributed to the success of the burial, said his late mother was passionate about education and has ensured that all the children around her were educated, Many archbishops and clergy participated in the burial service, including the Bishop of Oka and Archbishop on the Niger, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim. The Chief of Staff to Governor Soludo, Mr. Eza Joy, was accompanied to the burial by the Commissioner for Culture, Entertainment and Tourism, Comrade Don Onyunji, while many dignitaries, including political leaders and industrialists, attended the ceremony.
Well, that's just about it on the news. But just before we go, remember you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service on Twitter at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again. Anambra, <coughs> Anambra Assembly Speaker Odeze has felicitated with fathers on International Father's Day. Mrs. Toludo has called on fathers to pay more attention to family issues. Defense headquarters has asked Nigerians to support local uh, security architecture. And from the foreign scene, we brought reports that Mexico is set to launch asylum processing app. Governor Chukoma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's continue to give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonya Mokoye. Good morning and have a great day.